Hi everyone, my name is Angie Tawari. Welcome to this yoga class for runners. When you're ready, get into a comfortable position. Close your eyes, bring the hands in prayer position. Just start to slow down your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Now if you've just come back from a walk or a run, I want you to really focus on just slowing down your breath and just getting it back to base rate. We're gonna be working into the legs, into the sides of the body. So let's start off, blink the eyes open. We're gonna pick up the right foot, place the sole of the foot into the crease of the elbow, knee into the other crease, straighten through the spine and slowly start to move the leg left to right. If it feels better for you to just keep the leg still, you're more than welcome to. Good, and then start to drop it down, come to the other side. So lift it up, sole of the foot in, so you're kind of hugging around your legs and then rolling from left to right. Try to keep looking straight ahead and try to keep the spine elongated, lifting the chest forward. Good, and then drop that leg all the way down. We're gonna extend the right leg out to the side, keep the left leg in, and then bring the opposite hand up and over, coming into a nice side stretch, stretching out the side of that torso. And you can reach for either the sole of the foot or maybe the ankle and the shin. Take a deep breath in, come back to center, switching sides, opposite leg out to the side. Inhale the arm up and exhale the arm all the way over. So work on drawing that top shoulder back away, keeping the chest open, heart lifts through, and then take an inhale. Come back to center and as you exhale, you're gonna bring the legs back together, extend the legs in front of you. Inhale the arms up, exhale, come down, Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Doesn't matter how far you get here. If you can get to the toes, make a loop around the big toe. Otherwise grab hold of the shin or the ankles and use your breath here. So as we inhale, we're growing taller. As we exhale, we're dropping down. Really keeping the toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Feet are flexed, relaxing the head and the neck down and you can have a soft bend in the knees if you want to. Good, one more deep breath in here. Exhale, release. Good, next breath in. We are slowly going to release any grip that you had around your feet and make your way back up to a seated position. So bring the body back up. Bring the right knee out to the side, Janushasasana. Extend the arms up and come over that left foot. Again, use your breath to get you a little bit deeper and work on bringing the elbows out to the side so we're not locking our elbows out. Inhale, slowly rise the head up. Draw that right knee in, extend it, and then bring the opposite leg in. So the sole of the foot comes to the upper thigh. Inhale up and exhale, come down. Dropping your head over the right leg, working on hinging forwards at the hips and using your breath. So you can see here, I'm not staying completely still in this pose, I am encouraging a little bit of movement. So the inhale gets you up, the exhale gets you down. And then breathe in, slowly make your way all the way back up, just shake the legs out if you need to. And then draw the feet a little bit closer, soles of the feet press into the ground, knees point up, feet are just over hip width apart and start to sway the legs from left to right. Slowing it down, working into those hips. And then come back to center. I want you to come into a 90-90 position. So what I mean by that is your legs are in a 90 degree angles, both of them are. So you've got your hip in line with the knee, knee in line with the sole of the foot, sole of the foot, heel in line with your toes. And then you're gonna start making your way over the right leg. Now, you can stay up on the palms of your hands if you'd like to. And you're working on stretching into the hamstrings and into the hip flexors. Good, slowing down the breath here. Often gets really tight in this part of the body. Breathe in, we slowly come back, press into the palms and then step the feet back into your plank pose. And then I want you to bring the left knee down to the ground, keep the right foot extended. And then come onto the tips of the toes, inhale to come to the front. Exhale, push back through the back of the heel. This is a really good calf stretch. And then let it go. 
From here, you're gonna come onto the other side. So bring the opposite foot to the front, 90-90. So knee is in line with the hip and knee is in line with the heel of the foot. Your feet are flexed. And then just folding as far as you feel comfortable. And just relaxing here, softening down, breathing deeply, breathing into the parts that feel tight. Slowly make your way up, extending that back leg behind you, press into the palm, step back to plank. Good, dropping the opposite knee to the ground. So extending that left leg, inhale to come to the front, tips of the toes, exhale to push back through the heel. Just a few rounds of that. Nice calf stretch here. Amazing. And then come onto both of your knees, Balasana, child's pose, knees at the same distance as the mat. We're gonna sit the glutes back to the heels first and then work on hinging forwards at the hips, extending the arms in front of you and dropping the middle point between the two eyebrows, our third eye chakra, to the floor. Instant relaxing effect that should have, connecting that part of the body with the ground. Just rest down here, slow it down, slow down your breath. Bring awareness back to the breath. And then breathe in. Bring the palms to walk yourself back and come into a cross-legged position for me. Bring the soles of the feet together. Thumbs come to the inside of the soles of the feet, fingertips to the outside. Inhale to lift up, exhale to fold over. Elbows can come into the crease of the knees. This is your Bada Konasana pose. So this is your bound angle. So you're really getting into the hips and the inner thighs here. And then just try and soften the body down. It doesn't matter how far down you get. Just working on that stretch, bringing your awareness back to your breath. See if you can feel that in your inner thighs. Slowly make your way back up, really slowly and then coming onto all fours, and then plank, and lower yourself all the way down by squeezing the elbows in. Good, from here we're gonna bring the left foot in, so the heel comes towards the glute, and you're gonna reach round with your hand and pull the quad in, and then do the same on the other side. So we're getting a nice quad stretch here, really squeezing the arms, elbows point up towards the sky. Now from here, I want you to push the feet into the hands and lift the chest up. Good, this is our Dharanasana, our boat pose. Now from here, if you like, you can start rolling the body forwards and backwards if that feels comfortable. This is an amazing workout and, and relaxation ma massage of our organs and our internal system. And then when you're ready, you can slowly release the legs down and then just shake the hips from left to right, soften the arms down, drop your head down to rest on top of your hands. Good, breathe in, hands come to the sides. Inhale to lift yourself all the way up and exhale, make your way onto your knees. Place the hands behind you and we're going to come to shuffle so that you make sure that your whole body can lie flat on the back. When you get there, we're gonna pick up the right leg and we're gonna thread the hands through interlocking the fingers on the shin of the left leg. And as you breathe in, I want you to work on drawing the legs close in towards your chest. And as you exhale, I want you to work on pushing the right knee away from you and flexing that right foot. So it looks like nothing's really going on, but you are getting a really nice lower body stretch. Really good if you've got stiff lower body, if you've been sat down at a desk all day, or if you've been on a run or on an intense hit workout, really nice one to do. Good, breathing in to pull the legs closer into your chest, breathing out to work on drawing that knee away from you. Staying here. Slowly, we're gonna let go. Bring the hands to a T shape so that either side of your body and then start to draw those legs over to the left side. And when they hit the ground, I want you to work on drawing that knee away from you again. So you're still working on getting a stretch. You might be feeling this in the top of the hip bone on that right side. And we're getting a nice spinal twist here as well as we gaze in the opposite direction. Inhale, draw the legs back through center. Exhale, extend the right leg up towards the sky, pointing the toes and flexing the feet. 
and then drop that foot down. Other side, left foot comes on top, interlocking the hands on the shin. Inhale to pull the legs in towards the chest. Exhale to draw the left knee away from you, keep that left foot flexed. And you wanna imprint the lower spine onto the ground. So make sure that we're not lifting our lower spine off. Stay here, breathe deeply. Keep the eyes closed if they were open. Maybe close them down if you feel relaxed and comfortable enough to do so. Just focusing on your breath. Watching the inhale and watching the exhale. And then slowly start to release the grip of the hands. Hands come either side of the body, elbows in line with the shoulders. And then work on bending those legs all the way over towards the right side, turn the head to face over to the left. Palms are relaxed, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Inhale slowly, turn the head back to center. Extend the left leg up towards the sky, point the toes and flex the feet. A few rounds like that. And then you can slowly drop that left foot down towards the earth. Good. From here, I want you to roll and rock the body up. And just find yourself onto a kneeling position, Vajrasan. So you want the knees to be together. And you're then going to make a little bit of space in between your two knees to drop your glutes down and work your body down. So you can slowly come all the way down towards the ground like I have here, or you can stay up on your palms, or you can press into your forearms. So you don't have to come all the way down if this doesn't feel comfortable for you. This is particularly challenging for those have, who have really tight hamstrings. So if this is something that's new to your routine um, and you are struggling with it, please stay up on your palms you know don't feel like you've got to come all the way down so get to wherever you can get to feel that nice stretch through the fronts of the legs and then just relax down here as much as you can close the eyes Allow yourself to fully relax like you're melting into the earth underneath you. Softening through your forehead, soles of the feet, palms of the hands, everything's relaxed. Relaxing your shoulders. Just allowing yourself to just soften down. And there's no rush. Just allow yourself to be still. And then gently start to make your way back up. Take your time here, we've been down here for a little bit, so really there's no rush in getting back up. But once you do get up, I want you to walk the feet back and come into a gentle downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a bend out in each of your knees, work on pushing the hips up towards the sky. We won't be here for long. And then slowly start coming down into your knees. We come into Balasan, child's pose. And then we make our way to lying flat on our back. Good. So lying flat on your back, bringing the feet out to the side. Let the arms come out to the side, palms face up towards the sky. This is Shavasan, corpse pose. We do this at the end of every physical yogasana, so asana is postures practice so that you can allow everything to slow down, everything to soften. And also you can really allow the body to reap the benefits of all of the work that you've just done. All of that concentration, that focus, all of your breathing techniques, all of the movements. This is your time to just soak up all of that goodness. So just allow yourself to stay here and just to melt down into the pose. 
Try not to worry about anything that's happened before, any pose that you could or couldn't do, and try not to focus on what you've got to do after. Really allow yourself to just settle in to where you are right now. Try to be as present as you can.
okay, start to just gently bring your awareness back to your surroundings. I want you to keep your eyes closed, but just start to deepen your breath. Send the breath a little bit further down into your belly. And exhale gently through the mouth. Good, one more like that, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Good, little wriggles around of your fingers and toes, slowly bringing the legs together at the bottom of the mat, taking a big stretch from the tips of the fingers down to the tips of the toes, big, big stretch. And then exhale, draw the knees into with the wards of the chest, give yourself a hug. Take your time, we're gonna roll over to one side of the mat, make a little pillow with the hand that's closest to your head and allow yourself to reset here before slowly making your way up to a seated position, anything that feels comfortable, bringing the hands back into Anjali Mudra, prayer position, just like how we started. You're gonna bow the head down, drop the chin in towards the chest. I want you to ask yourself right now how you're feeling. You can maybe place the hands on top of the chest. Connect in with your heart chakra, Anahata chakra, our heart energy center. Maybe taking some rolls of the head, some head tilts from side to side, whatever works for you. And then when you're ready, you can slowly start to blink the eyes open and just come back to the room. Thank you so much for joining me in practice. I really hope you enjoyed that post-run stretch. Come back to this whenever you need to, and I'll see you again soon.